reading from last Sunday's epistle lesson from 1 Peter chapter 2. Like living stones, you are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Peter describes God as being like a stonemason who puts one block on top of another and builds. God builds his church with people like Peter and the Christian congregations that he wrote to. God builds his church with people like us, and he makes us living stones. We are dead in our trespasses and sins, but we are made alive in Christ. And God is like a skilled stonemason, carefully and thoughtfully building his church with living stones. Do you remember that woman who put the two little copper coins into the offering? She was a living stone, important to God, and someone that he will remember for eternity. More than once in the book of Acts, we're told that thousands of people were baptized in a single day and became Christians. All of them were living stones, and God remembers them and their names for eternity. Do you remember Job and all the trials and tribulations that he went through? He is a living stone, important to God, and a part of his church forever. Do you remember the thief on the cross who repented and was with Jesus in paradise later that day? He is a living stone and still to this day is a part of God's church. You too are living stones, dead in trespasses and sins, but then made alive in Christ Jesus. And as Peter wrote, like living stones, you are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. And you will be a part of God's building, God's church forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts that he may rule and direct us according to your will. Comfort us in all our temptations and afflictions Defend us from all error, and lead us into all truth, that we, being steadfast in faith, may increase in all good works, and in the end obtain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.